Alright, what's up? How are you? How's things? Yeah, I just want to do a video here on the uh, Halloween franchise here. It's a video that I've been planning on doing for a while, but I just haven't got around to it. But seeing it's almost Halloween time, I'll just do it now. I'm going to be ranking the Halloween uh, franchise here from uh, worst to best. Yeah, Halloween has to be one of my favourite, if not my favourite, uh, horror franchise of all time. Uh, for the most part, I do like all the movies, but there is only one or two in there that I just don't really like. But for the most part, just find at least a few good things that I like about all the movies. Anyway, this is just going to be my opinions of the way I like the movies and the, and the best order and whatnot, like that stuff like that. Obviously, some ways are going to disagree with my uh, opinions here, and that's just fine. So, I'm just going to start off here anyway with uh, number 10 Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. Man, I hate this movie so much. I do force myself to watch this movie every year around Halloween time because I, uh, I do watch all the movies every uh, Halloween like but um, yeah man I like nothing about this movie I just hate everything about it. I hate you know, Michael Myers as a hobo for, the, for um, most of the movie without the mask and shit like that. I hate all the crap with Deborah Myers and the white horse and all that, that shit. I didn't like uh, the Dr. Elum's character in this, I fucking hate him. And I know it's just Rob Zombie's take on all these character, but we just think that they're just bad takes on them. I have to say though, Malcolm Dale is decent as a uh, Dr. Loomis. I just hate the way he was made uh, portray Dr. Dr. Loomis in this movie. We hated Laurie Strode in this movie as well. I just thought she was a fucking bitch like. Uh, and uh, wanted her to die like. You can argue that she's meant to be fucked up and she's meant to be in a mess and all that stuff because she's got family killed and all, but Jamie Lee Curtis never really portrayed her fucking as, as being a bitch and just a cunt and someone you want to die in the other movies either, like so. And she went through a lot of stuff as well, so we just hired, uh, uh, what's her name? Fucking Scout Taylor Compton. Actually, does okay as Lordy Strauden as well, but. I just hate the way she was portrayed in it, so I just really hate this movie, I can't stand it. I force myself to watch it every Halloween. That's about it, I don't like the movie, it's a lot of shit. Right, number 9 here is Halloween Resurrection. Yeah, when this first came out, I thought it would be alright. I had uh, Rick Rosenthal, I think, yeah, directed it. He directed part 2, and that was actually a decent movie in my opinion. So I had a kind of decent hopes for this movie in any way, but... The first 10 minutes of this movie, yeah, are pretty decent with, uh, uh, fucking Hardy Slotty Stroud and the shape in the uh, sanitarium, but after that, man, it just turned to bullshit. They went the whole, uh, reality TV sort of thing in the Michael Myers house, and we had all the, the camera views and all that they showed up in the movie. And having Buster Williams kick Michael Myers' ass and stuff like that, and all, it was just it was terrible. It's a bad movie, it shouldn't have been made. It should have ended at Halloween H2O. This movie shouldn't have been made. This one another cash in, I suppose, but it was a bad movie in my opinion. I don't really like this one at all. Right. Going to number 8 here. Halloween Fire to Revenge of Michael Myers. Yeah, there's a couple of things I like about this, but for the most part, it isn't the best movie uh, in, the, in the series. Or a pretty good movie at all, like, but uh, yeah. We like, I thought. Uh, Fucking Daniel Harris did a decent enough job as a uh, Jamie in this like, but uh, and uh, of course has a Donald Donald Pleasance back. And Donald, Donald Pleasance fucking was decent enough in it as well, like, but yeah, there's some really annoying characters in this one. I didn't like teen. Um, I talked to two uh, cops there or a dickless though. They're just comedy relief cops just there for for last, and they weren't really that fucking funny or anything. This could have been and should have been uh, a fucking lot better than it was. But it just rushed into the production really fast. I think it's just kind of like the next year after uh, Halloween 4. And Halloween 4 almost did decent enough numbers and money at the box office. So they said, you know, we'll just fucking rush this in production. But, uh, and they did that and they made a box of the thing. So there it is at number 8 uh, Halloween 5 The Revenge of Michael Myers. Um, number seven here, not the Rob Zombie's uh, original remake of the uh, Halloween. Yeah, we've seen this in the screen cinema, and I enjoyed it, f enjoyed it quite, quite a bit. Like, the backstory was alright, I suppose, but it wasn't really necessary, in my opinion. Yeah, I hate 
with the uh, Rob Zombies movies, I hate this, and with this part two as well. I hate that uh, all his characters are, are fucking white trash and it, like, it doesn't really work for the Halloween uh, franchise, in my opinion, having every character being white trash, like, probably would have worked, worked in like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie or something, but it doesn't really work in a uh, Halloween movie, in my opinion. Yeah, I thought, what's his face, fucking... Mark McDowell was good again as uh, Dr. Sam Lewis and Tyler Mann was okay as a uh, fucking the shape like he didn't, he, in this one he didn't grunt it as much and fucking uh, when he was stabbing people and stuff like that and killing people as much as he did in the second one so he's not as bad in this one as he is in part two in my opinion so that's Rob Zombie's Halloween that number seven Number six, I know the Halloween H2O, uh, 20 years later. Yeah, this one's a, an okay movie. I don't hate it or anything like that, but it just wouldn't be one of my top, top favourites in the series. I think it has a coin, too much of a kind of uh, polished feel to it. It feels like, like, like an MTV movie, generation movie and stuff like that. It was good that they brought Jamie Lee Cores and all back for it, but yeah, I just didn't think the, the kills were that good in it. I didn't think the atmosphere was really that much there in it. I don't really like the guy that uh, played uh, Michael Myers in it. He's probably one of my least favourite uh, Michael Myers. And it just has a pretty cast and then they threw in another rapper there and it, like it's it's okay. I think a lot of people a lot of people in the heart community here like this one a lot and I just don't think it's as good as they make it out to be. That's just my opinion though there folks. So there in that number what was it? Six Halloween H2O twenty years later. Number 5, uh, Halloween 3 here, Season of the Witch. Yeah man, I, I really enjoy this movie, I really think it's a good, a good flick. I know uh, a lot of people used to not like it because they had nothing to do with Michael Myers and stuff like that, but I think a lot of the people, especially the horror guys, have gotten over that. Maybe only the mainstream critics and stuff like that are still are the only people that can't really get over that, but I think for the best part, most of the horror guys that really love the horror actually really enjoy this movie now for what it is. I think uh, Tom Atkins is really good in this movie. I think Tommy Lee Wallace did a good uh, job directing, directing it. And I like the whole story with, with the masks uh, being uh, chipped and booked to, to kill the uh, kids when they watch the, uh, the TV on Halloween night. Like, so I think it's just a really good, uh, fun movie. Yeah, it does have its problems, of course, but it's a decent flick. I really enjoy it. And I love Tom Atkins at the end, where he's trying to get all the uh, the TV stations to shut down their uh, their uh, fucking playing of the ad like so the kids won't die, and the fucking terror in his voice when he can't get them to uh, to turn off one of the last stations. I just thought that was really done really well. So and it's a really good movie overall, in my opinion. So that was at number five, Halloween Three: Season of the Witch. Right, number four here, Halloween, the course of Michael Myers here. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people would disagree with this, having this one in such a good spot, but I really love this movie. I think it's a great flick. It does have its problems, but uh, I think it's one of the most underrated uh, films in the series. There's some uh, decent kills in this. Uh, I thought the, man, the guy who played the shape did uh, pretty good in it. Uh, Donald Pleasant was decent enough in it. He enjoyed it during, during the making this movie, so... I think uh, when he, he's had more scenes in the producer's cut, we have the producer's cut, but they only have a downloaded version, like, so I don't think he has as much scenes in uh, this cut here. I think Paul Rudd was in this, I thought he did actually okay for it, I think it was his first movie as well. I'm not really sure which uh, version of this film I prefer, if I prefer this or the produ producer's cut. There's some uh, things in this version that I like more, and there's some uh, things in the producer's cup that I like more, but I think the uh, producer's cup it does make probably a bit more sense. And I think this year, last year, Halloween time, I watched this version. I think this year I'm going to watch the producer's cut of it. So there it is, anyway, and number four, Halloween, the course of Michael Moore is a really good uh, sequel, in my opinion. Yeah, it has its problems, but I think it's a good movie, and it's very underrated. We go on to uh, number three here, Halloween 2. Yeah, I can't really say that many bad things about this movie. I actually really enjoyed it. It's one of my favourite in the series. Jamie Lee Coors 
uh, rolling this is a bit bad because she's drugged up on a, for most of the movie like if she wasn't drugged up for the, the entire movie and couldn't do much at all it wouldn't be better but obviously that, that the reasons for doing that this uh, Donald Pleasance is great in this I really enjoy this portrayal in this as well um, oh shit I got lost there yeah Rick Ho- Rosenthal did a great job uh, directing this movie a much better job than he did in directing uh, Resurrection there some great kills in this movie yeah and fucking I enjoyed most of the characters in that in this movie none of them really wrecked the head or anything that bad overall it's a great movie and I always enjoy on Halloween night watching one and two back together so there it is at number three Halloween two number two Halloween four or a ton of Michael Myers man I love this movie it's definitely yeah favorite sequel in in the franchise I thought the guy that played the shape here actually did well in it. I know some people complain about the portrayal of it but I thought he, he did play well as the shape which I think at some place, uh, place in this the mask doesn't look the best and stuff like that but it's a really good movie it has some great kills in it I liked all the characters in it I thought Danielle Harris was good in it I liked Al Carnell in it um, Donald Pleasance always was uh, brilliant in it we hate little little did a great job uh, fucking uh, directing here. I like uh, Bo Star as the sheriff. I just like there's not really a character that I don't like in this movie. There's some great kills in it, and it's all, all around a great movie in my opinion. There is number two, Halloween four. We go on to you know one here was obviously going to be the original Halloween here. I love this movie, I always have, ever since I was a kid. It was the first movie, horror movie I've seen as a kid, and it's just stayed with me ever since that time. Fucking great direction by Carpenter. Jamie Lee Quarters was great in it. Donald Pleasant was amazing in it as well, like, Scar, and it's fucking brilliant. I know some people have quotes there, but it's not pretty gory, it's not gory at all, really, and there's not much of a body count in it, but this movie didn't need that. Just had a great atmosphere, a great setting that was shot brilliantly by Carpenter, and uh, he didn't really need to uh, fucking uh, go overboard with the gore and kills and that and stuff like that because it just has so much great tension and stuff like that. And has great setting, great camera work, and you can't really go wrong with this movie in my opinion. In my opinion, it's, pro- it's the ultimate sl- slasher movie. It's my favourite slasher movie. Always has been and always will be. Anyway, there, folks. That was just me ranking of the Halloween series. Hope you enjoyed it, it was just my opinion. Obviously some people will disagree, but that's fair enough. Give us a comment if you want. Talk to you. Thanks for watching.